I hope you're having a magical day where you are as I'm having a magical day where I am. So I figured I would just go on ahead and vlog my Walt Disney World purchases that I recently made on some, you know, organizers and some journals and some planners that are all Disney related. I just got finish vlogging our announcement that we are going to Walt Disney World for our 25th wedding anniversary. So if you missed that video vlog, head over to my main channel and check it out. It is um, weird how we came about choosing Walt Disney World for our 25th wedding anniversary, but yes, we are going and we're super excited. And I figured I would just go ahead and upload um, another video. So that's why I look the same as I did in the other one. Because I figured let's just go ahead and show you the Disney planner that I bought. So we can plan our um, 25th wedding anniversary trip to Disney World. So everything I'm going to show you I got offline. Except one item. I'm oh, well, just a two things. Um, first, I like Disney stationery. I like Disney journals. I like um, Disney sticky notes and Disney markers. And I like anything Disney. Or I like anything that makes me think of Disney or Minnie Mouse or, you know, anything like that. So, first things first, I went over to Hobby Lobby and I purchased, I got these at 50% off, so it was a good deal. I got these uh, pretty polka dotted box cards and they made me think of Minnie Mouse because they're polka dotted and they are right here. And of course you get the big dots and the little dots and you get all this assortment of different colors. And if anybody knows me, knows that um, Minnie Mouse is my fashion icon as I always say and anything polka dotted I kind of like gravitate towards and I'm like how can I make that Disney, how can I make that Minnie Mouse. So I do buy a lot of um, stationery that um, I could decorate Disney theme. So when I saw these polka dotted cards, I thought Minnie Mouse and I was like, I got to get these. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just buy like these standard size cards. And then when you like open them, I may have like Disney stickers in there and um, kind of give it a Disney theme. But I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off and I thought that was a great buy. The next item I got came off of Amazon. And I haven't opened them, but they're supposed to be polka dotted gel pens. And again, I thought, Minnie Mouse. So I was like, I got to get these. Because number one, I needed gel pens. I am, the ones I had were like starting to like run out of ink. All of them weren't, you know, working. I had them for a while and I'm like, I need some new ones. And I was on Amazon and I saw these polka dotted pans. So I went on ahead and picked them up. And they are right here. I gotta go like this. Let me see. Oh, I want to flip them up for y'all. Okay. So they are right here. And they're just polka dotted. They just got like polka dots on them. I don't know if you can see that. It says dot and dot. So hopefully they write really nice. But I have like a blue and then a baby blue. It looks like I've got a brown, a yellow, and I like the orange. Hopefully these write the color that they're supposed to write. Let me see. Yes, it's orange. I wanted to make sure. Okay, so like I have orange. I've got a brown. That's a pretty brown. I got a like a green. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, yellow. Oh, I wonder how the yellow will look. And then I got a blue and a, I have like a dark blue and then I have like a baby blue. And it looks like I got two of each. So like I got two oranges, two dark blues, two baby blues, two yellows, two greens, two browns. So I got those off of Amazon and I thought I would use that with the recent polka dotted stationery that I got. So the next thing I got was this Olaf trifold. It's right here. And I already opened it. But it is right here. 
and it's still kind of sealed but it is an Olaf trifold and I really like oh look at that is that cute or what and it's sparkly I don't know if y'all can tell but it definitely is sparkly and it kind of shimmers and you open it and here it's got sticky notes of Olaf and then Anna and yeah nope just Anna not Elsa sticky note and then here it's got like a little like a little notepad it's still sealed but it's got like a notepad oh actually it's an address book that's neat let me take it out so it's right here and it's like a little address book as you can see it's got ABC it's got all the alphabet on the side and then it also has over here it has a pen and a little journal on that side and it's a frozen trifold journal set and you just close it like that and it's magnetic which I really like and then it's got Anna and Elsa on the back so I thought that was really cute I picked that up the next thing I got I also picked up from Amazon and I've got to open this I think this I'm not sure I but I think this is the journal I ordered the Mickey mini journal I think I have scissors oh okay yes 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 this okay I remember I saw this and I thought too cute okay and the journal is in there also so I got these two items right here and this is the kiss me journal with pen set included and we will open that together but it is right there isn't that adorable and then i remembered i got this little notebook because i thought it was too cute and i don't know if you can see the sparkling on it but it shimmers and then there's the back and this is just a notebook it's just a small little um notebook but i plan on using it on our disney world trip and that's one of the reasons why i got it because i thought it would be great for when i'm vlogging our trip and wanting to capture certain things for vlogging then i can quickly jot them down or if um i need to remember something or you know whatever I'm able to fit this in my backpack that I carry around when I go to Disney World it's not bulky it's not big so it's just this little notebook and of course it has Minnie Mouse and it looks like she is on every page so there that is and like I said it sparkles and I thought that was really pretty then I picked up this cute kiss me journal and it is right here and we'll go ahead and open this up together so there's the ribbon and it comes in this cute little box and it comes with a cute little pan oh look okay is that adorable or what that is just precious I love that it's got the little Mickey and it's just a little ballpoint pen and then I got this kiss me journal which I think is adorable look how precious that is isn't Mickey and Minnie just so cute kiss me and then of course it's got like a little bookmark it's on the back but you're able to tuck it into the book and you just open it oh my goodness it's got love you lots on each page right there at the bottom and I just think, again, this is just an adorable journal. Again, if I decide I don't want to bring this one, this one would still fit in my backpack. So I love this. And this would be great even just to use like um, for just everyday journaling because I do have a tendency to journal and write things down and write my thoughts down. and. And all that I've been journaling and writing stuff down probably since I've been in high school so that means it's been a long time so I picked that up the next thing I got was what is this? okay the next thing I got was a new Walt Disney World binder to plan our Walt Disney World trips in the past when I've planned I've either just gotten like a really thick notebook or I've just gotten like a binder like just a regular three ring binder 
but I decided that I wanted to invest in getting a three ring like custom made binder and so I went online and Avery um, does like these custom you know binders any type of binder it doesn't have to be Disney it can be anything and that is what this purchase you know is so I'm gonna go ahead and open it and I'm gonna show you the binder so it came like this boxed up it looks like that's my receipt on top and it's through Avery but um through how do you say it Zalzi Zal, Zalzi I don't know anyway it's through this company right right here that um did it for me I went to the Avery website and somehow they linked me to to them Oh my magical word. I love it. I love it. Look guys. Wait, I gotta open it. Look, 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 look. It says Disney and the Anders family. That's us. Where's my scissors? I'm so excited. I had it. I picked out the color. I picked out, you know, the design I wanted and then I had our name put on it also. And I was like, I think I'll make this our official Disney binder. And yes, I will bring this on our trip, but I'll put it in my husband's backpack. And then this is something that I will leave in the hotel room probably so I can reference to each day of during our stay. But it's right here. And I will be using this to totally plan our trip. And it's right here. And there's the front. There is the opening. It's just your basic three ring binder with little pouches. And then on the back, it's Disney. I think my favorite letter, I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to decide. It's between Tinkerbell and um, Cinderella Shoe. Minnie's cute too, but I really like Tinkerbell and Cinderella Shoe. And there is that binder. Now, I knew this was going to be coming in the mail. So while I was waiting on this, I made some templates that I knew I was going to want to put in here. And I knew this was going to be just a standard Avery three ring binder. So I'm going to show you the templates I made. And um, if you're interested in me showing you my planner, once I put it all together, let me know. Leave a comment down below and I will do that. But these are the templates that I made. So I always change it each year. So this is Disney World's 2017. And it says Anders on it, of course. And this will go, you know, this will be like the first thing that I will put in here. So like it will go like that. And I just buy the, you know, the, um, the protective covers at the store. But there that is. And then I made a new temp template for this trip because I also like to make new templates for each trip also. Don't ask me why. I just do. But, um... This is the Polynesian Village Resort template. So like in here, I will put like our reservation, our confirmation, and then anything that has to do with the Disney Polynesian, you know, um, resort, you know, little reminders, you know, uh, like we like to uh, go into, um, you know, the Grog and check it out. Last time we were there, we couldn't even get in. It was so crowded. So that would be something But we would want to do. But mainly, I would put like our reservations and any information about the Polynesian in there. And then our next template is the Magic Kingdom. And that one is right there, as you can see. And um, th this picture up here is actually from our memory maker from our last trip. But I will put anything in here that pertains to the Magic Kingdom. If um, we have a dining reservation in there, I will, I will put that under the Magic Kingdom. If we have fast passes, if they're shops. Like, if I'm looking, like, I start checking out merchandise way in advance before I go to Disney World because if you've seen my Walt Disney World shopping halls you know I divide it up in seven parts because 
when I go to Disney, I go a little crazy on merchandise. So I will start researching merchandise and kind of like marking out stores, different stores that I want to hit if I'm looking for specific products. And I can really do that very feasible now because of that, you know, app on your phone. But I will, I will lay out stores that I want to make sure that I hit in here. Like I said, I will put fast passes in here, any shows, show times, any, you know, anything like that that has to do with the Magic Kingdom will go under Magic Kingdom. Then I have an Epcot one. So I made that template. And again, this picture right here was from our memory maker from last year that they included. And again, I will do the same thing that I do with um uh, Magic Kingdom for Epcot, any dining reservations we have, any fast passes I made, um, any stores I want to hit, any specific items that I know is going to be at that store that I can get. And I know you can get all that stuff on your phone under My Disney Experience. All of that is labeled. But you have to understand, I am also somebody that likes to actually write things down, okay? Um, I'm not somebody that always depends on computer technology because you never know when this is going to go out, you know, if something happens. So I have a tendency to be more functional if I write it down as well. So that is my Epcot template. And then, of course, I have Hollywood Studios template. And that is right here. And both these pictures were taken from our memory maker. So um, that one's Hollywood Studios. Again, same thing. Stores, fast passes, restaurants, shows, anything. And anything that I want to jot down pertaining to Hollywood Studios because the parks are always changing. New rides, new stores, new merchandise, new things to do. And I want to be able to jot that down between now and our trip when I'm doing, you know, research. And I know a lot of people are like, Rachel, you've been to Disney World so many times. Really? I'm sorry, but each trip for my family and I is always different and we don't necessarily always do the exact same things all the time. So, each trip for us is a new experience. Next is Animal Kingdom. And again, both these pictures are from Memory Maker from our 2015 trip. So I made a template. And then the last one is Disney Springs. And of course, Disney Springs has got a whole bunch of new stores. And every time we go to Disney Springs, I don't necessarily get to every store. So I kind of try to make a memory in my brain about what stores I want to hit next time. In the past, when I brought like little notebooks, I've jot down what stores I weren't wasn't able to hit that I want to hit for my next trip, and then I'm able to include them when I do my next binder. But here is our Disney Springs, and look at Manny. Look at her with all her shopping. I was just like too cute. And there is the Stitch World of Disney Store. So those templates will actually go into the binder that I have, and I will use those as dividers to lay out for each park and different activities. And then the only other thing I bought for that binder is these dividers. So if I need to divide something up, you know, so like for, how can I put it? Like for um, Magic Kingdom, I may, if we have dining reservations and fast passes, I may want to keep like my shopping and my stores that I want to hit and certain merchandise that I'm looking at separate, but still keep under Magic Kingdom. So I would use a divider for that. And these dividers are really nice because they have these pockets. I'll show you. So here you go. So it's like it has this little pocket in here to where you can put further information. And like I said, I will bring our binder with us on vacation and actually put it in my husband's backpack probably and then I'll leave it in the hotel room during our stay and just refer to it like first thing in the morning when we wake up I'll look at my Disney experience app on my phone and then I'll go to my organizer for that day and just verify everything I mean usually when I'm organized like that knock on wood our trip goes smoothly it just goes smoothly because I, I just get it that organized. And I'm the one who kind of more or less plans our Walt Disney World trip. There's a saying in my house. My husband pays for the trip. I plan for the trip. And in the past, when I've planned, I've planned everything and everything has gone smoothly. Now, do we kind of change plans sometimes? Of course we do. We don't stick to the itinerary like it's cement, okay? 
we do change things up, but for the most part, we have an outline and we pretty much have an idea of what we're going to do. And I'm able to maneuver our fast passes around dining reservations and things like that too. So, so the last two things that I bought were a like a pencil holder to put into the binder that I got for my Disney planet and it just came like this in this flat envelope and it's Minnie Mouse themed of course and it is right here and then it's just a basic bag but I will go ahead and open that for you I need a pair of scissors but I saw this again it was Minnie Mouse and I'm like well I can tuck this on the front part of my binder and put my polka dotted pens in there but it is right here it says mmm delicious and it is right here and she's just got a little cupcake and it's kind of like a plastic cover and then this is a vinyl and the zipper is up here at the top so it's like this you really can't see it on camera I don't think you can tell on camera but it's 3D dimensional, and I don't think you can see that or be able to tell that on camera. But um, it looks like she's popping out at you is what it is, like when you hold it back. I don't even think you can see it when I hold it back. But it looks, you know, it, in perfect view of me, it's like coming out at me. It's like a 3D, which is really cool. But I figured I can stick this in the binder as well. And then the last thing I got were these stickers and to me they were they're really not Disney stickers but they made me think of the Polynesian because they're tropical they're fruity and I was like I would probably use this in my Disney planner when I'm marking certain things but I just got these very cool okay so these are like a whole bunch of strawberries and I could just use this too in my general organizers that I have. But I just felt very Disney Polynesian when I saw it because if you've ever been to the Polynesian or ever stayed there, you know it's very tropical. And this is a whole bunch of different fruit that I got there. And here's some more different strawberries. I don't know if you can see that. I got a little bit of a glare from my lighting. And then it looks like they sent me the same three packs again. And then they sent me another pack. So I got three sets of everything is what I got. So like I got three sets of these, three sets of those. I love these. I think these are colorful. And then three sets of the strawberries. So yeah, there you have that. But uh, those are all the purchases that I made regarding like Disney World journals and binder planners and notebooks and inspired, you know, Minnie Mouse polka dotted uh, note cards and these great little pens here. So um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. If you really enjoy planning Disney World vacation trips, let me know. Maybe you have um, some ideas that you can um, share with me as well. And um, if I've inspired you maybe to start, you know, getting into the groove, if you're going to Disney World to start planning your trip, trust me, it's very exciting planning. It's fun. Um, get yourself a binder. If um, you're not able to get one of these guys, you know what you can do. You can just get a plain binder. And the ones that have the clear cover, okay, where you can put things in there, you can make one of these templates, okay, and just slide it in the front and then have one that, you know, looks like this. You know, if you want to do that. I just decided that I wanted to um, invest in a customized one. But you can go out and, you know, get your own. It doesn't have to be this. And just create your own template that way, too. It's just as fabulous. So, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a Life in Disney Mouseketeer already, hit that subscribe button down below. So, next time, guys, y'all take care. Y'all have a magical day and a magical week. And I will see y'all later. Bye, guys. Yeah.